it's bedtime story. It's bedtime story time with Moomoo, so cuddle up and use your imagination. All right, so tonight, baby girls, cuddling up with Moomoo in your imagination. So tonight we have Hansel and Gretel. Once upon a time, Hansel and Gretel lived in a tiny cottage with their father, a poor woodcutter, and their cruel stepmother. There are too many mouths to feed, their stepmother told the woodcutter. Take the children miles from home, so far that they can never find their way dirty, back. He got dirty, he got yeah. dirty. Yeah. Overhearing the conversation, Hansel slipped out of the house, filled his pockets with pebbles, and then went back to bed. All night long, the woodcutter's wife nagged her husband. The next day, he led Hansel and Gretel away into the forest. As they walked through the trees, Hansel dropped the pebbles here and there. Suddenly, the woodcutter slipped away, and the children found themselves alone. Greta became to sob bitterly. Don't cry, said Hansel. I'll take you home, even if Father doesn't want us to come back for us. Luckily, the moon was full that night, and the pebbles gleamed in the moonlight. The children found their way home and crept through a half-open window without waking their parents. When their stepmother discovered that Hansel and Gretel had returned, she was angry. She kept Hansel and Gretel under lock and key all day, and the only sip of water and some stale bread. Oh, that's a mean lady, huh? When dawn came, the woodcutter led the children out into the forest again. Hansel, however, had not eaten his bread. And as he walked through the trees, he left a trail of crumbs to mark the way. Again, the children found themselves alone. Don't worry, I've left a trail like the last time, Hansel whispered to Gretel. Sadly, the little boy had forgotten about the hungry animals in the forest, and in no time at all, the crumbs had all been eaten. When dawn Daddy, broke, they wandered I through the forest. Daddy, on and on they I walked, so they came upon a strange cottage. This cottage is chocolate, gasped Hansel, as he broke a lump of plaster from the wall. And this is icing, exclaimed Gretel, putting a big of the doorpost in her mouth. Starving but delighted, the children began to eat the pieces of the cottage. Okay. Quietly, the cookie door swung open, and there stood an old woman. Well, well, said the old woman, peering at them. You children have quite a sweet tooth. Come in and eat what you wish. Unluckily for Hansel and Gretel, the delicious cottage belonged to a witch. They had fallen into her trap. You're nothing but skin and bones, cried the witch, locking Hansel into a cage. I shall fatten you up and eat you. You will do the housework, she told Gretel. Then I'll make a meal of you, too. Each day, the witch would feel Hansel's, Hansel's finger. The witch had poor eyesight, so she held out. he held out a chicken bone. Too thin, she complained. When will you become plump? At last, the witch grew tired of waiting. Light the oven, she told Gretel. We're going to have, have to roast that boy today. When the witch bent down to see if the oven was hot enough, Gretel gave her a tremendous push and slammed the oven door shut. Uh -oh. Free at last, the children stayed at the cottage eating candy. After a few days, they found a huge chocolate egg filled with gold coins. The witch is burned to a cinder now, said Hansel. We'll take the treasure home with us to father. They set off into the forest, and on the second day, they found their way home. Their wicked stepmother left in disgust. So Hansel, Gretel, and their father lived happily ever after.